In the nostalgic tapestry of our minds, there are certain shows that stand as luminous markers, guiding us through the labyrinth of memories. And among these, the wonder years, like a hidden treasure chest, holds within its frames the essence of growing up, an eternal story that transcends time. Do you remember that first encounter? A flicker of anticipation as you settled into your seat, not knowing that those moments would carve their place in your heart forever. Perhaps it was Kevin Arnold's awkward yet endearing charm that resonated with your own adolescence, or Winnie Cooper's smile that seemed to illuminate the entire room. Oh, the emotions that coursed through every episode. The gentle nostalgia, the bittersweet pangs of youth, and the steady cadence of life's rhythms. Every character, every corner of that suburban neighborhood seemed to whisper tales of innocence lost and wisdom gained. And as the theme song played its familiar tune, you were transported back to school hallways, first crushes, family dinners that carried the weight of the world, and friendships that felt like lifelines. But let's journey beyond the surface, beyond what the eyes could capture in those fleeting moments. Let's uncover the hidden gems, the stories behind the scenes, the threads that wove this masterpiece into existence. Did you know that the show's creators drew inspiration from their own coming-of-age experiences, infusing it with an authenticity that's palpable? And as we peel back the layers, we find unexpected connections, the cast's chemistry, the iconic wardrobe choices, and even the meticulous attention to period details that transported us to the late 60 seconds and early 70 seconds. So, let's embark on a voyage of discovery, a testament to the power of storytelling as we unravel intriguing tidbits about the wonder years. These morsels of information will not only deepen your appreciation, but also rekindle the magic that made the series an indelible part of our shared cultural tapestry. From surprising casting decisions to those behind the scenes anecdotes that elicit a chuckle, we've got it all in store. So, are you ready to revisit those wonder years? To traverse the landscapes of laughter and tears, of growth and nostalgia, all over again, because as we dive into these random facts, y'all find yourself smiling at the sheer serendipity that birthed this gem of a show. And who knows, you might just unearth forgotten memories of your own wonder years along the way. Along the way. Along the way. Disputes and demise, the unveiling of the wonder years, cancellation and the annals of television history. The wonder years, a nostalgic gem that captured the essence of the late 1960s, continues to elicit wistful smiles. Yet, behind the scenes, a clash of visions and shifting tides led to its eventual demise. As ratings dwindled and budgets swelled, the producers faced a crossroads. A decision to conclude the series loomed, but it wasn't just economics that scripted the finale. The crux of the discord lay in the evolving nature of its protagonist, Kevin Arnold, portrayed by Fred Savage. As Kevin aged and the show ventured to delve into more mature themes, a chasm emerged. Producers yearned to plumb the depths of adult issues, mirroring the growth of its characters. However, the network hesitated, deeming such weighty topics unfit for the show's familiar time slot. Amid this artistic impasse, the cancellation of the Wonder Years materialized. A beloved show that resonated with generations bitted you not solely due to sliding viewership, but due to a profound divergence of creative trajectories. In the denouement of the final episode, a poignant touch added a layer of personal resonance. The voice that echoed his narrator, chronicling the journey of young Kevin and his circle, belonged to Daniel Stern. Yet, in a beautifully symbolic gesture, the voice that responded was none other than Daniel Stern's own son, Henry. A passing of the torch, a thematic farewell. Beyond the screen, the war-torn backdrop of the series reverberated with reality. The Vietnam War, an indelible chapter of American history, cast its shadow upon the Wonder Years. Jack Arnold, portrayed by Dan Loria, stood as a Korean War veteran, mirroring his portrayer's own history. Dan Loria, a real-life Vietnam veteran, had marched the same path as his character, both bearing the weight of military service. In the end, the Wonder Years transcended its on-screen charm, echoing the intricate dance between creative ambition and network sensibilities. A tale of growing pains, not only within its narrative, but also behind the curtain. 
Fred Savage's unwavering presence in the Wonder Years, a testament to consistency in the realm of television, where cast rotations are the norm. One show defied the odds with a steadfast presence. The Wonder Years, the nostalgic gem that captured hearts in 1988, owes part of its allure to the unwavering appearance of Fred Savage. Across six seasons and countless memories, Savage portrayed the coming-of-age journey of Kevin Arnold, imprinting himself as the sole cast member to grace every episode. Savage's connection to the show became as enduring as the narratives he portrayed. From the innocence of adolescence to the complexities of early adulthood, his portrayal of Kevin remained a constant, becoming synonymous with the series itself. The show's creators, Neil Marlins and Carol Black, could not have predicted that their casting choice would cement the Wonder Years as a touchstone of TV history. And then there's that house more than a mere backdrop. It became a symbol of comfort and familiarity. The quaint, suburban abode that served as the exterior for the Arnold family's home was located at 516 University Avenue in Burbank, California. With each opening sequence, the house became an icon, embodying the essence of the show and reminding viewers of the universal experience of growing up. However, uncertainty loomed as the series approached its sixth season. Producers, torn between continuation and conclusion, crafted a finale shrouded in ambiguity. The possibility of cancellation led to a unique creative approach. The series finale was scripted and partly produced with an open-ended narrative, leaving room for either a continuation or a conclusion. Until certainty prevailed, the poignant closing narration that recapped the show remained unrecorded until the 11th hour. The Wonder Years is a reminder that even in the realm of episodic storytelling, there can be constants but Fred Savage's unwavering presence, the charming house that witnessed it all, or the uncertainty that shaped its final chapter. As the series found its place in the annals of television history, it was clear that every element, like the characters it depicted, was touched by the winds of change, forever preserving the essence of growing up in the late 80 seconds. The seconds. The seconds. The se ABC's creative crossroads, the unexplored edge of the wonder years in a bid to navigate the turbulent waters of a maturing protagonist. ABC's iconic 1988 TV series The Wonder Years flirted with an audacious narrative trajectory that, if realized, might have drastically altered the show's trajectory. According to the 2013 book Difficult Men, behind the scenes of a creative revolution, authored by Brett Martin, the network contemplated a daring evolution for Kevin Arnold the show's central character, played by Fred Savage. In a bold yet ultimately unrealized move, discussions revolved around recruiting TV writer and producer David Chase, a name later synonymous with The Sopranos, to steer the show towards edgier territories. Chase penned a tantalizing script wherein Kevin delves into the world of J.D., Sailinger's catcher in the rye, adopting the persona of the iconic Holden Caulfield. This transformation saw Kevin embracing adulthood with unrestrained vigor, indulging in coffee and cigarettes, a departure from his adolescent innocence. However, this venture into uncharted waters proved to be a double-edged sword. Chase's script, while daring, proved a shade too edgy for the show's established tone. Consequently, the collaboration never saw the light of day, and David Chase's creative talents took a different trajectory, leading him to the realm of mobsters and morality in The Sopranos. The potential metamorphosis of Kevin Arnold into a Holden Caulfield-esque figure remained confined to the pages of speculation. While Chase's influence might have been unexplored, the show itself was not devoid of its own candid inspirations. Actor Jason Hervey, who portrayed Wayne Arnold, unveiled an intriguing connection to his character's car-inching antics. Drawing from personal experience, Hervey revealed that these scenes mirrored a real-life dynamic with his older brother, a relatable window into sibling dynamics that added a layer of authenticity to Wayne's exasperating yet endearing behavior. Beyond the screen, the minds behind the Wonder Years understood the impermanence of youthful friendships. Creator Bob Brush addressed a notable shift in the final season, responding to a crescendo of fan mail bemoaning the perceived drift between Kevin and his steadfast friend, Paul. Brush asserted that this divergence was a calculated move, mirroring the natural evolution of adolescent companionships. As Kevin acquired a driver's license, the realms of association expanded, paving the way for authentic changes in dynamics, mirroring the trials of real-life relationships as they matured. In retrospect, The Wonder Years stands as a testament to the delicate balance between creative experimentation 
and the preservation of a nostalgic core. It's a reminder that the unexplored avenues of television history can be as captivating as the roads more traveled. As we look back on the show's legacy, we're left to ponder the roads not taken, where edginess flirted with familiarity, and where the brilliance of David Chase found its footing elsewhere. As we bid adieu to the nostalgic journey that is the Wonder Years, we find ourselves not only reminiscing about the iconic moments that captured our hearts, but also reflecting upon the echoes of our own lives entwined within the narrative. Just as Kevin Arnold navigated the turbulent waters of adolescence, we too have treaded the ever-shifting sands of growing up with all its trials, triumphs, and tender moments. As the series fades to a close, it's an invitation to pause and ponder what resonated most deeply with you. Was it the laughter shared around the family dinner table, the pangs of first love that felt all too real, or the heartaches and breakthroughs that mirror our own journeys? The Wonder Years isn't just a show, it's a mirror that reflects our pasts, our present, and perhaps even our future. Each episode was a capsule of wisdom wrapped in the familiarity of everyday life, reminding us that even in the mundane, magic is woven. As we close this chapter, consider sharing your cherished memories, your heartwarming anecdotes, and your profound insights sparked by this remarkable series. Let your voice be a part of the chorus that celebrates the impact of the Wonder Years on our lives. So, as the curtain falls, the characters freeze in their moments, and the final chords of the soundtrack linger in the air, I thank you for joining me on this introspective expedition. Your time, your emotions, and your reflections are the threads that weave the tapestry of shared human experiences. Until we find ourselves entangled in the stories that touch our souls once again, keep your wonder alive with appreciation for your time and interest.